guys, look. Hit the like button. Hit the sub button. Hit the notification bell. You understand me? Subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram. Join this Fisk Unit Army and get Fisk Unit tough. All right, look. I told y'all Tool was going to be lit. I told y'all Tool was going to be lit, man. Shout out to Tool for making me look like a prophet again. Now, I dropped a lot of videos on y'all in the offseason. I was giving y'all like three a day. I was. I was going in. One of my videos, I specifically told y'all Tool is not as bad as y'all made him out to be. And I specifically said when Tua's in the game, they don't lose. And if Tua plays that playoff game versus the Bills, they win that playoff game. I said the only issue with Tua is health. When Tua's actually on the field, that boy gets busy. Period. He gets busy. I'm so happy for Tua right now. They wrote him off. They laughed at him. They said he needs to retire. Oh, they should have took Justin Herbert. Who would you ever have? Justin Herbert or Tua? This dude, Justin Herbert, can barely beat the Vikings. Started off 0-2. Should have probably been 0-3 if Kirk Cousins weren't trying to lose his damn self. And then you got Tua. I, I, nah, bro. Come on, man. Quit playing with me. Everybody thought Tua was trash because Brian Flores didn't like him. Brian Flores did not like Tua. You have a defensive head coach who knows nothing about offense, kind of like Joe Judge and Daniel Jones. Daniel Jones was stuck with Joe Judge, and then he gets an offensive-minded guy like Brian Dable, and now he's winning playoff games. The dude Tua was stuck with Brian Flores. He finally gets a real head coach who likes him and built the offense around him, and now look at him. Coaching in the, coaching in the NFL matters. This ain't the NBA. Where you can, where LeBron can go anywhere, Kirby can go anywhere, Harden, Kyrie, bro. The Nets hired Steve Nash as their head coach, and if they didn't get healthy, they probably wouldn't won a title. The dude LeBron James took David Black to a finals. Like when you in the NBA and you a superstar, it don't matter who your coach is, you're gonna ball. But in football, look at what happens when Mac Jones gets Joe Judge and Matt Patricia calling plays. He stinks. Look what happens when Tua Tagovailoa, who's probably going to win the MVP, has Brian Flores as his head coach. He stinks. Daniel Jones, who wins a road playoff game with Joe Judge as his head coach, he gets Brian Dable. Now he's good. You see what I'm saying? Brian Dable playoff wins. Joe Judge can't even make can't even win seven games. So at the end of the day, I'm not shocked at what Tua's doing. This is what Tua is. Now, what I am shocked is how this Broncos defense gave us 70 points. This vaunted Bronco defense gave us 70 points. I don't remember what the stat was. I don't remember what the stat was. Forgive me. I don't remember what the stat was. But wasn't this stat something crazy like it, it, all Russell Wilson had to do was score like 17 points a game last year and the Broncos would have won like 13, 14 games? I don't remember what the stat was. I'm sure somebody who's a Bronco fan or – Somebody can like correct me in the chat or in the comment section, but I could have sworn there was a stat that if the Broncos had scored 17 points, they would have won like 13 games last year. That's how good their defense was last year. Like their defense was the elite of the elite last year. Should we be firing Sean Payton? What, how does this team go from being one of the best defenses in the league to giving up 70 points? That's embarrassing. How does this team go from being one of the best defenses in the league to giving up an 18-point lead to Sam Howe? The same Sam Howe that basically got shut out by Buffalo at home and should have lost to Josh Dobbs, they blew an 18-point lead to. Let that sink in. They blew an 18-point lead to Sam Howe, followed that up with a performance that really... 70, 70, I don't even, call, I can't even call that a performance, they didn't show up, that wasn't a performance, I'm sorry, I, I had to stop myself for a, a that's not a performance, I don't know what the hell that was, that's a I want to get Sean Payton fire game, 
That's a I want to get Sean Payton fired game. You know, I'm looking at Sean Payton sideways right now because he he might be a product of Drew Brees. He might be a product of Drew Brees. Maybe Sean Payton, all this talk about, oh, Sean Payton genius, Sean Payton this. Bro, Sean Payton ain't been good since Brees retired. Since Brees is retired, what has Sean Payton done? What did he do with Jameis Winston? Nothing. What is he doing with Russell Wilson? Nothing. Maybe Sean Payton was just a product of Drew Brees. Maybe. Y'all give Belichick all this smoke. Oh, Belichick can't win without Brady. Belichick is trash without Brady. Y'all better throw some of that shade to Sean Payton. Y'all better throw some of that shade to Sean Payton. I'm sorry. Um, Nathaniel Hackett team never gave up 70 points. Let's keep it a bean here. Nathaniel Hackett team ain't never give up no 70 points. That man lost to Jimmy G, Sam Howe, and then gave up 70 to Tua. Any other coach would be on a hot seat right now for these kind of performances. And you can't blame it all on Russell Wilson. There's more to the, there's more to the football team than the quarterback. If you told me Russell Wilson was going to be scoring 20, 30 points a game, I'd have said the Broncos would be undefeated. Because that's what's happening right now. Russell Wilson is scoring points. He looks better than he did last year, but now your defense is trash. I love Tua to death. I love this Dolphin team to death, but they're not 70 points nice. They ain't that good. The whole damn team scored. Tyreek Hill scored. Raheem Mozart had four touchdowns. Their backup running back had 100-something yards and a touchdown. I mean, damn, everybody get a turn. They was riding they, 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 they the they was riding the Broncos like a $5 whore, bro. The whole team got a turn, bro. It was like a blow bang. It was like one of the, the, the gang bang scenes. Everybody hit everybody busted off on the Broncos if you was a dolphin. Every dolphin busted off on the Broncos yesterday. Everybody had fun. I mean, my freaking gosh, bro. 70 points. And they did it in like 55. No, 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 no. It was what? They scored 70 points with like Eight minutes to go in the game. They scored 70 points in 52 minutes. If they wanted to run the score up, they could have got the 80, bro. They could have got the 80 points. If they wanted to run the score up, they could have got the, like, 80 points. If they keep Tua and the starters in. See, you know what? I got to criticize Mike McDaniels for a second. Because these are this is one of the games that you wanted to keep Tua in so he can throw, like, eight touchdowns. Get his MVP numbers up. The Broncos quit. They didn't want to play. You're supposed to keep two in, let him get his MVP numbers in. Straight up. Just throw a couple bombs to Tyreek Hill real quick. But anyway, the Broncos are pathetic. Two is the MVP. And that's all I got to say. That's it. That's all. Subscribe to the unit. If you rocking with me, my name is Fist Vegas. And I approve this message.